Yeah, why not do a tutorial about how to create a transparent dynamic uh, pencil in Adobe Acrobat Pro? It's gonna work something like this. Uh, I have uh, uh, stamped uh, and waited for a minute and then I stamped again and then they updated, the, the dynamic pencil updated the time here, uh, one minute. And I think these are the steps for how you will uh, do this. And um, <laughs> my active English is not that good, of course. I understand what people say to me, but I don't speak so much English. Uh, so I have to excuse for that, of course, but um, uh, it's mainly for my own use, but maybe it will help someone else because I've been looking around for tutorials about this and nothing really explains uh, uh, all of this in, in uh, one tutorial and especially there are very many tutorials that think that you have to use your program folders and a stamp folder under your program folder for the Acrobat uh, Reader uh, and the Pro version of Adobe and uh, my IT department don't allow me, they will help me every time I, I, I will try something there, I will put something there, but I don't have uh, administration rights on my computer, so I can't uh, manipulate that files. And uh, But this uh, tutorial um, actually uses the user folder and, and uh, stamps under the user folder, and, and that one I actually have um, access to, so th that one I can change. So that's uh, one of the, the main takeaways from this tutorial, I think, like, um, yeah, it's for my personal use and uh, you can do it without this uh, stamp folder under the program folder. And we want to do a, a transparent uh, stamp um, and we want to have a dynamic stamp. So I don't want to show too much of my uh signatures and stuff so i won't show you every step because i don't want to remove my stamps that actually are working so but bear with me i think this instruction probably will help i do this a little bit to uh, repeat what i actually did so it actually will work again i hope so uh that i got everything right the first time so let's get started you start with creating a PNG file with an alpha channel, and you can probably Google, I won't show that. I do it in GIMP. You can probably scan something and then you can remove the black, uh, white background and you typically get this uh, checkerboard pattern behind your signature. And probably you will make that file a little bit bigger. The, the, um, the canvas should be a little bit bigger so you can have space to, to place the the form fields that you would like to use in your dynamic stamp. So you don't have to start with like making your stamp bigger or smaller or anything. I, I make the P, the original PNG file the, the sort of more right size. So I, then I might crop it in, in, in uh, Adobe. I find that a bit more simple. Like some. Uh, then you go to this user folder, um, see user, my, your name, and the app data, rooming, Adobe Acrobat, DC stamps. And uh, app data was actually a hidden folder, so maybe you have to Google then how to unhide that so you can see the app data folder under your user folder. Uh, and you might want to print screen this uh, content of this uh, folder. Maybe you don't have that much here, uh, but you want to have uh, these names are pretty random with the numbers and, uh, and uh, syllabus uh, and pretty long. But you want to have uh, control over what you have in this uh, folder because you're going to probably create a new file here. And that's the file that you want to work with later on. So this is only for uh, information and makes it easier when you're going to return here uh, that you actually saw what was here before. Then you, we're going to import the PNG as a stamp. Uh, in the import uh, functionality of stamps. And we're going to create a new category because that's a new category. We'll probably create a new file here, which makes it easier. We're going to name this stamp uh, with a bracket, uh, no, hash or what you call it, uh, this symbol, number symbol and some name. And this uh, number symbol will probably 
make it more dynamic in the sense that every time you use it, it will actually update uh, the code. It will run the code every time you, you, you use your stamp. So you can get this uh, change between minutes instead of every time you open up Adobe. I imagine it could be important. I don't know really. I haven't tried without them. So, but anyway, locate your stamp. Now there should be this, uh, because you created this, you should have this new file here under the same uh, folder. Uh, and uh, open it and you probably have to scroll down and if you're lucky then then your stamp will be there um, and now you can add your dynamic fields and formats insert them into the stamp maybe crop the stamp um, you could um, then you add this um, uh, javascript in uh, the, could it be like the action tab if you have an English uh, version of Adobe? Uh, and uh, at the bottom there you add this code and um, uh, then it, it should uh, run. The, it just have it be exactly like this because this is the Swedish formatting of uh, dates. But this is important if you have big or small syllabus here because they uh, seems to be like if you want to have zeros in the beginning or if you want to have two position or not. And uh, it's also important, of course, because it's a program language. You have probably the semicolon because it's JavaScript and everything has to be it's U till and print D, which is a bit strange. So yeah, it's program code, so it has to be probably correct. But this part you can probably Google and figure out how, how you can write it to, to, to make it work for your formatting. Then you have to save this at the original place as of this folder and, you know, under your user folder. And I actually have to browse my way down there to actually uh, fit it there. So it doesn't save by itself, even if I open it from there. And then uh, it's probably a good idea to to make it a favorite pencil and put that favorite the to the stamp tool on your um, toolbar as I did up here. But I won't show that content of that because that my <laughs> my signature is there because my favorite stamp is there of course. So this be becomes a little bit um, uh, hidden here. I don't show everything, but. Uh, Maybe we should, I should pause, I should uh, do an import of uh, this uh, PNG file uh, under stamps. So um, you do stample palette. I don't think I have anything secret here. You have this uh, dynamic stamps and I will click import, probably import in English. So import. It's the same place you do uh, bladra, and I think here I have to pause. Yeah, exactly. I had to just find the file and I had to click some uh, dialog box after that where my name was. And uh, now I can uh, make a new category. Let's make this English because I'm doing this in English. The name of the stamp, I will put this hash uh, symbol so that's the name for it and why not my english stamp something and then i will save this and i will now have this uh, png file that has an alpha channel as a stamp there it is nice and then my new category I will now uh, pause again and I will try to locate it under this uh, folder here.